Hey guys, Kings Island Fanboy here, and welcome to Roller Coaster Safety 101. This is a new series I'm starting that focuses on the safety of roller coasters in an easy to understand and entertaining way. And in today's episode, we are focusing on ride maintenance. Ride maintenance is an integral part of amusement rides and roller coasters. These heavy machines run almost constantly during the summer, and in some places, they do run constantly. So to make sure these large pieces of machinery are running safely and efficiently, ride maintenance is very important. Maintenance happens every single day on amusement rides and roller coasters. On roller coasters, trains are taken off the main circuit every morning where the wheel assemblies, brake fins, chain dogs, and anti-rollbacks are able to be inspected every morning. Maintenance members check these parts for corrosion, unusual movement, broken parts, or anything else that could lead to an unsafe experience. Mechanical parts are also inspected on the ride, such as brakes, chain lifts, sensors, and anything else that helps the ride operate smoothly. And of course, track and supports are inspected. On steel coasters, track and supports are inspected visually. Maintenance members will walk the entire length of the course, looking for any corrosion or any other unusual behavior in the track and supports. They will also look for anything that has fallen on the track over the night. On wood coasters, track and supports are also inspected. Maintenance members will walk under the rod, looking for any rotted or broken wood and support structure, and they will walk the entire length of the track and the catwalk adjacent to the track, looking for any rotted wood or anything else that could be harmful to the ride. But roller coasters aren't the only thing inspected every morning. Every ride in the amusement park is also inspected thoroughly every morning to make sure everything is operating properly. Once all of these morning maintenance checks have been complete, each ride will complete a series of test runs to make sure each one is operating properly. Once all of these tests and checks have been completed, the ride can safely open for the day. But maintenance just doesn't happen during the day. It also happens when the amusement park is closed. During the winter, each train is transferred off the roller coasters will then be completely disassembled. While they're disassembled, each part will be thoroughly inspected before they are able to be reassembled. And on flat rides, ride vehicles are completely disassembled to be inspected. And on some small flat rides, the ride itself will also be completely disassembled to be inspected. Once all of these inspections are complete and the trains have been reassembled, the state will come in and inspect the ride. If they clear the ride for operation, the ride can open for that season. If a ride does not pass state inspection, the amusement park will not be able to open that ride. They would have to fix whatever is wrong with the ride before they can get it reinspected by the state. Overall, maintenance members work hard to keep our rides operating safely and efficiently. And I hope this video was able to shine some light on the maintenance that happens on amusement rides and roller coasters every single day and on the off season to keep amusement rides from operating safely and efficiently. Well, that's all for this episode. I want to hear what you guys think of the new series down in the comments below. And make sure to join us for next time where we will talk about ride operating systems and how they are able to keep the rides safe. Well, again, that's all for this video. I want to hear what you guys think down in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!